Now we'll talk about blocks in the periodic table. There are four blocks in the periodic table S block, P block, D and F block. So this is your periodic table and the elements over here is considered as S block and this one is D block and these two are considered as F block and apart from that this one is P block. So F block elements are also called as actinides and lanthanides. So this is your periodic table. As I told this one is S block, D block, P block and F block. It indicates that this guy, the each element will be accommodated in a particular orbital. It's 2p orbital, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p orbitals and it's 3d, 4d, 5d and 6d orbitals. And this one is 4f and 5f. So S orbital can accommodate only two electrons and it belongs to the S block of the periodic table. Group 1 of the periodic table consists of the elements lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. They are collectively known as alkali metals. I should not consider hydrogen. These are called as alkali metals. So now we are talking about the D block element. Last electron enters in D orbital. They are called as D blocks. It involves the group from 3 to 12. And the general electronic configuration of the block is N minus 1 d power 1 to 10 and n is 0 to 2. This is your electronic configuration of block. If we talk about p block, the last electron enters in p orbital. Simple. It involves the group from 13 to 18. The general electronic configuration is n s 2, n p 1 to 6. That's p block elements. If we talk about F block elements, the last electron enters in F orbital. The general electronic configuration is n minus 2 f to the power 0 to 14, n minus 1 d to the power 0 to 1 and n as 2. Lutetium and Lorenzium are placed under scandium and yttrium to reflect their status as d block elements so this is your periodic table and you are able to identify these elements as metals Whereas, these elements are considered as non-metals. To further classify, the periodic table will have metals which is in the red color and your non-metals it's in the violet color and you got light colors which is metalloids your boron your silicon your germanium arsenium your sb 
tellurium and PO polonium. These are all considered as your non metals or sorry, metalloids. So, the property of a metal is it's solid, malleable, ductile, and conductors. If we talk about the periods, seven horizontal rows in the periodic table are called periods. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we talk about the first period, the hydrogen and helium, it contains only two elements. Hydrogen and helium. Whereas in the second period, you got Z equal to 3, the atomic number is 3 to 10. It's lithium to neon. 